Attention viewer, you are watching the world's biggest Monster Truck Diecast YouTube channel. This is Monster Jam OCD. Hello Monster Jam fans and welcome back to another Monster Jam OCD review video. Today we are taking a look at the brand new Mutt Machines 4-pack by Spin Master Monster Jam for 2021. This was recently revealed by Amazon.com, so I am reviewing this a little bit earlier than I intended to. I actually wanted to review this around August or September, but I'm pushing reviews out quickly because everything seems to keep getting revealed far ahead of schedule than I originally planned. So today, here is this pack, and I do want to note this because uh, I did talk about this before on Facebook forums and Instagram and other places. The three-pack that was planned for this year so far seems to be kind of pushed off the schedule for this year, which was the Fast from the Past three-pack with the white wall tires. You guys did see a preview of that with my bulldozer back earlier this year. Uh, it had white wall retro tires. The other two in the pack were revealed to the public by people in the Philippines, which were Grandma Gravedigger with the white wall tires and green rims and Maximum Destruction with orange rims and white wall tires. So far, I don't think that's going to make it to the public. If it does, you will see a review and you will see it pop up. For right now, though, it does seem to be a canceled pack, at least for now, or at least postponed. But for this four pack, this should be available very soon on Amazon.com, as these usually are for four packs. Also, likely Kohl's near Christmas time later this year, as they've been doing with the four and three packs. But here's the review. A really cool pack, like I said. Awesome packaging, too. You can see it has a giant Monster Mutt face, the Mutt machines on the nose of the Monster Mutt. And we have four Monster Mutt Rough Crowd trucks here. The famous Monster Mutt Poodle debuting last year. Monster Mutt with the ears down. Monster Mutt Dalmatian, the only one with the ears up. And of course, Husky, which has his ears up just inherently because that's Husky. So all four of these Monster Mutts are in this pack. And you can see the packaging also has some uh, split on the side here. It has Dalmatian on one side and Monster Mutt on the other. And then our custom concept trucks are just kind of joining us in this pack. Here's the side here for Monster Mutt, uh, or the Monster Mutt Dalmatian side, I should say, with the Monster Mutt mouth, and then this side with the Monster Mutt fur. The back here has the renderings of each truck on little uh, puppy sleeping pads here, so that's pretty cool, or dog beds, whatever you want to call it, uh, with each truck and its individualized uh, collar tag. So Monster Mutt Poodle, Monster Mutt Dalmatian, and Husky. And uh, I'm going to unbox this, and we'll check it out up close right now. Okay, so here they are out of the box. I do want to show you guys real quickly what the back of the packaging looks like for the interior. Here is Monster Mutt Poodle's area to park with the Poodle tag and the chain. It has a nice little magenta and bright pink uh, highlights. Then we have Monster Mutt with the same color palette for Monster Mutt, Dalmatian with the red, and Husky with the gray. So I love this packaging. Great job by the design team on the overall composition. Really, really cool. And uh, here are all four trucks together in one area. We're going to start with the first one, which I'm going to go with Monster Mutt Dalmatian because it is kind of the outlier here with the old tooled ears. This year, like I said, in my Monster Mutt Rottweiler review in Series 17, they didn't get a chance to do the ears down for Dalmatian. But hopefully next year, that does mean we will get these ears down because the last one that needs it. And it's also kind of the flagship truck right now for the Monster Mutt Rough Crowd team. But regardless of that, this is the Monster Mutt Dalmatian exclusive to this pack with this brand new setup. Really good job with their color palette choices in this uh, pack. I got to give them credit for that. I like this maroon roll cage, not too dark, but it is a maroon colored roll cage with a gray chassis. It has bright red tires and bright white rims. And here's the body for it. Nice graphic clarity as well on this Dalmatian. Lots of fur detail. They added a lot more uh, compared to previous ones, which I'll show you in just a moment. And uh, yeah, so Dalmatian with the old style ears. And there's the dog tag with the classical collar. And uh, let's check out a Monster Mutt Dalmatian from the past. Uh, for instance, I don't know what mix or what edition this is, but here's a random one from the past. You can see all the extra fur detail that they've added, um, fine little details on the hood and just around the entire truck. So much improved from past editions. As we continue to go on, Spin Master continues to improve just inherently, so that's really cool. And uh, yeah, so there is Monster Mutt Dalmatian from this pack. And next up is the Monster Mutt Husky. I just recently actually reviewed this in Series 19 on Saturday. So if you guys haven't checked out Series 19's review with the Singles Pack Husky, there's your chance to go check it out and watch the review of it. So this just recently was announced for Series 19 coming out later this year in August or around that time uh, with the Silver Roll Cage Black Chassis and uh, Dirty Fur Colored Rims. We also have had a previous Husky that first release of it in the doubles packs from mix six of 2019 so husky made its first appearance way back in 2019 the first year of spin master monster jam with blue rims and bkt tires and now our third official edition of a normal husky we have had a fire husky and also a dirty to clean one in the four pack right here so this is our third official normal edition 
right here. And it has a navy blue roll cage to match the Dalmatian, which just had that nice dark maroon color. And then it has a gray chassis to match the rest of the fleet, silver rims to match the fur tone, and nice solid blue tires to match its color and theme itself. So yeah, this Husky's awesome. I love Husky, you guys know this. I've mentioned it many times now. The only thing, like I mentioned with Series 19, I hope they will do the ears with the gray bit on the bottom. We have not seen them do that yet. That's just something that needs to be done for Husky. But here it is, Monster Mud Husky. Really nice truck, just really clean overall. I've always loved this one. And uh, it looks great on this chassis. I like the uh, the color palette they chose for these. And next up is the classic Monster Mutt. One that doesn't get the spotlight enough anymore, but here it is yet again with the new ears down that we did see debut in Series 16, the first mix of 2021 this year. I'm sure a lot of people, if not most people have this by now. It was a very widespread truck when Series 16 came out. And of course those ears are brand new, so why not pick it up? So there's the first edition of it. It had red rims, black roll cage, black tires, and a gray chassis. Uh, and it looks really, really good. And now we have another edition with it with a nice setup here. I love this one specifically. It might actually be my favorite of this pack, honestly. I love the bright uh, beige tires that match the fur tones. And then we have that same style where they're going with a the dark roll cage color choice. It has a brown roll cage with a gray chassis and black rims. Just solid overall. I don't think there's anything wrong with this one. There's nothing they could have done better than what they did with this. And uh, yeah, Monster Mutt looks really good with the ears down, everything here. So I would definitely want pick this up just for this monster mutt alone so there it is the monster mutt and finally everyone's favorite show dog from the monster jam fleet it is monster mutt poodle making its second appearance as a normal truck last year we did have a debut in mix 10 of the spin master monster jam fleet of 2020 and we also have had a recent dirty to clean announcement for monster mutt poodle but this is the only time we have actually seen it in a secondary normal release style without any altercations to the paint uh, such as Dirty to Clean. So Monster Mutt Poodle debuting last year, a very flashy, uh, popular truck in most cases. And of course it also made a debut with Husky in Monster Jam Steel Titans 2, the new video game that just came out recently. So Monster Mutt Poodle definitely having a prevalent stance in Monster Jam so far, and now it's receiving another flashy release here. Uh, really that's all you can say about this truck is just it's flashy. And uh, that bright pink first style of course, but the main thing about this is the roll cage and the tire update. So we have a magenta roll cage to match the dark roll cage theme with a gray chassis and bright pink tires. Now you guys can do some pink swaps if you guys have anything in mind to swap with pink tires. This is your chance. Spin Master is giving you guys a full rainbow of tires to use for whatever swap purposes you need. So it has that and also has white rims to match the theme. And I also want to note that they actually got some clarity issues fixed with this. They have the fur wrapping around the entire front now. As compared to this one, it's kind of a little blurry, so you can't see it. So they did correct that. And just overall, they've corrected graphics over time. And this is just much clearer than the previous Mix 10 one. Uh, nicer, crisp edges on the decals and the edges of the logos. And overall, the fur just looks much better with the Monster Mutt Poodle dog tag. And uh, yeah, so you might not be able to notice on camera, but in person, these are much different in terms of clarity. And I love Monster Mutt Poodle just for the fact that it's so out there and kind of outrageous in a way. I love that about it. And the bright colors make this truck what it is. Um, and yeah, so this is really cool. They actually changed the opacity of the transparency in the windshield to be able to look through it into the truck and the cab. Might not be able to see it too well, but this one's like a frosted look and that one's a much more transparent look. So a couple corrections and a nice tire choice choice and roll cage choice for this Monster Mutt Poodle. And yes, so Poodle is back again with this four pack and that will wrap up this review of the Mutt Machines four pack by Spin Master Monster Jam for 2021. I hope you guys have enjoyed and please in the comments, let me know what you guys think about this pack and what you guys thought about all the different color choices they use. I think every single one of these is justified. I don't think I would change any of these in terms of how they did the color layout. And uh, yeah, so there is my review. I hope you guys again have enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next video. And if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel and like the video, I appreciate all the support and I will see you guys next time. This is Ryan or Monster Mo CD signing out.